I had a tough time figuring out how to handle this show, um, to be honest with you, um, in, in light of what has recently happened in Saskatchewan. And uh, I think it's important for us to uh, take a minute and um, just recognize what we've seen and um, recognize what um, these families in this town of Humboldt are going through. And um, so I wanted to try and, and figure out a way uh, to honor them uh, because, you know, we can raise money and it's good to raise money and um, we can hold benefits and I think all those things need to happen. Um, but when something like this happens, something that is just completely out of our control, um, Sometimes the only thing you can do is just walk alongside people. And uh, so I wanted to, to dedicate this performance tonight um, to all the people who are suffering uh, through this tragedy. And, and I was trying to figure out a way where we could make it really special. And, and um, I, I reached out um, when all of this started happening to Haley Wickenheiser. And Haley is just, a, just an amazing person and, and uh, um, from Shaunavan, Saskatchewan. And... Um, she uh, um, has really been helping and mentoring and working behind the scenes um, in all of the efforts to help this community. And, uh, you know, she doesn't need a, a ton of uh, introduction on her accolades. I mean, Order of Canada, uh, you know, I think probably the best female hockey player that's ever lived and, and uh, all the gold uh, medals that she's won. Um, but what I love about her most is her heart. And uh, so uh, she jumped on a plane and said she'd love to come out here and help me to to de dedicate this performance uh, to the town of Humboldt as well. So please make her feel welcome. Uh, Haley Wickenheiser, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. <clears throat> Thanks so much for being here, Haley. I, I just, you know, I'd love for you to just kind of share a couple of thoughts and, and you know, anything that you might like to say about what's what you've been hearing, what's, what you're going through, and... and um, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, in, in, um, in honor of, of everything that's happening right now. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you, Paul, for inviting me. I was uh, more than happy to, to come tonight because uh, you have a powerful message and voice and an audience. And uh, I think growing up in Saskatchewan, I came from small town Saskatchewan. And so, uh, of course, when I got the news, um, it was it hit home like it has for all of us, everyone here. Um, I played against several of those boys uh, with the national team, uh, was particularly in the, in the last Olympic year. And uh, we barnstorm across Western Canada on the bus preparing for the Olympic Games. And uh, those boys in particular are the ones that prepare us to win gold at the Olympics. And so over the last few days, I've been talking to a lot of my teammates and, uh, you know, all of, everyone has been saying, you know, it could have been us, could have been us on that bus. And I think that's the way all of Canada feels is it could have been us. And uh, we all put our kids on the bus it's just the way of life in this country but so I know it's been uh, uh, I don't know an impossible time almost in Humboldt but I can say being from Saskatchewan that everyone back home appreciates all the support that we've had across Canada and that those families have had and uh, like you said Paul I think sometimes just walking beside people and for that community and those families to know that the nation uh, has got their arms wrapped around them is uh, maybe the best thing that we can do at this moment. I thought it was uh, um, just amazing, you know, right from the beginning in your show of support, um, when Steam started gathering for the GoFundMe, um, uh, you started, you know, seeing what everyone else was seeing, this incredible outpouring. And, um, and I know that those funds are being uh, responsibly managed and have been passed on to the team and, and uh, are being overseen so that they'll do the best for people. And, and I think last I heard, we're closing in on six million. You've been retweeting that quite a bit and <laughs> yes. supporting it. So I just encourage all of you watching tonight and everyone here too to keep perpetuating that and pushing it forward. It's going to do some amazing uh, things for these families as they're going through the darkest time that they could possibly go through. Yeah, for sure. And if you're wondering, you know, what can you do? Um, even things like we were talking about, you know, donating blood, um, maybe considering being an organ donor and just being present for your own kids. Um, I think maybe that's the best way to honor these kids. So Absolutely. thank you, Paul. For thank you. Hey, Haley Wickenheiser, everybody. Thank Thanks, everybody. Haley. Thank you. thank you so much. I am um, uh, probably three or four months ago, um, I, was, uh, I was asked to uh, write um, a, a song um, that uh, 
would be able to be used by, by Ron McLean for his, uh, his work on air. And, and um, uh, he sent me a text, which is like, what is my life? Like, Ron McLean is sending me texts. Like, what is going on here? And, uh, and uh, he uh, um, asked if I would do that. And so I, I put this, this song I want to start the night off uh, together. And I had no idea when I wrote it that um, it would be able to be used for, for something like this. Um, but I, I want to uh, dedicate it to anyone who's uh, watching tonight. And I think it's, you know, so many, all of us in Canada whose hearts are broken by what happened in Humboldt. And um, a couple buddies of mine um, wanted to help kick this uh, show off tonight uh, with a little message. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that for you and then we'll get right into it. Donald S. Cherry and Ron McLean. Paul, we're here in Humboldt, Saskatchewan with the entire world, and our thoughts are with the Broncos. Yes, but I want you to remember this. Be great, be great, and you are great. He is. Uh, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame right here in Saskatchewan last fall, and uh, you're wearing the hometown hockey hat. Paul, you've been on our show three times. Uh, we love you, and I know you're thinking as a good hockey player that you are and a great musician about the Broncos. So tonight's for them, small towns and big dreams. In a small town, a hockey night in my hometown kind of place. It was really not much around. You blink and you miss it. I never knew what life would bring, but I always had big dreams. Early mornings down at the rink, and every night I'd wish that I'd get a shot at the big game. Here on the claim, say my name, so I. Played hard and dreamed about the day I'd lift the Stanley Cup up high Cause that's where I come from That's who I am Hard working and God bless Yes sir and thank you man The best things around that I have ever seen Came from small towns and big dreams One thing that never changed much We all share the same love of this great game Yeah, I always get the same rush Since I made it to the league And I can see it as I travel round It doesn't matter about our background Cause in hockey all of us have found A great big family And that's where I come from That's who I am Hard working and God blessed Yes sir and thank you man The best things around that I have ever seen Came from small towns And big dreams I've been around the world Don't matter anywhere I go even out in Humboldt I found my kind of folks It's about you and who you are It's all a state of mind It's about you and who you are You're always in our minds And as I play with all my heart I hope you find That's where I come from, that's who I am Hard working and God blessed, yes sir and thank you man The best things around that I have ever seen Just to look around, you see just what I mean The best things around that I have ever seen Came from small towns and big dreams. Now, for a minute, I thought, you know, maybe we uh, we ought to put things on hold. But when I think about those boys, 
And I think about the dreams that they were chasing. I know that the spirit that they had was one of never quitting. It was one of showing up. And so I'd love it if you'd help me show up for them here tonight. I come from Calgary, Alberta, home of the Calgary Stampede. I don't know if you heard of it or not. But we like to have what we call a hoedown out there. I don't know if you have them in Toronto. It's, uh, it's like a party, you know, shindig, a hoot nanny. You know what I mean. So help me get this together. Let's get those hands together if you can right now. Come on. I'm going to teach this to you. It goes like this. That's where I come from. That's who I am. You sing it. Come on. That's where I come from. That's who I am. That was pretty good, but I think you can do better. I'll give you another chance. You all ready? Come on, Toronto. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's sing it for Humble. Come on. That's where I come from. That's who I am. You sing. Come on. <laughs> 